Hey guys, have you ever wondered what goes into a 100 hour inspection? Just like pilots, the maintenance team also has checklists that they have to use. This is the checklist. So this is the Cessna 172 uh, maintenance manual that comes directly from Cessna. As you can see, the intervals are defined right here. Each 200 hours, we do the following inspections. Each 100 hours, we do the following inspections. Each 50 hours, we do the following inspections. And we simply follow the directions put out by Cessna in this uh, Cessna approved maintenance manual. And it talks about checking the spinner, talks about doing oil changes, checking hoses, checking wires, checking spark plugs, checking compression. So this is how we know everything is covered by using checklists just like pilots do. First thing we do on a 100 hour inspection is we start on an oil change. That's the drain plug. And this is us opening the drain plug by twisting this knob, flipping it up and twisting it back over. And now it's automatically gonna drain without us having to do anything. Next thing we check and replace is the oil filter. Next thing we check is the spark plugs. We pull them out, clean them, gap them, and put them back in. Next thing we check is the air filter. We replace the air filter every 100 hours. Next thing we check is the battery and make sure that the acid levels in the battery are full and topped off. Next thing we check is tire pressure and tread on a tire. And next to that is the brake linings. This is LPS fluid to lube joints, pulleys, and cables. This is how we grease the flaps. This is how we grease parts of the rudder. This is us greasing the elevator. This is just a few things that we do in a 100 hour inspection. Thanks for watching. Click and subscribe to our channel for more good information.